You know the saying, happy wife, happy life? Well, Amy's been bugging for this for a little while, so we decided to go to a few different places, actually. Home Depot and Lowe's, and we searched on Amazon for just the right thing. I'm spoiled. She's spoiled. What we found are peel and stick tiles. They look actually like really nice subway tiles. They're not those little flimsy uh, padded things that you that we found on uh, Amazon, by the way. These are actual sturdy, sturdy. They're hard. They look great. They look like they have grout already in them. Um, they're only nine bucks a sheet. They're a foot by a foot, so we should only need a few. That's going to be the backsplash as a bonus. We found a roll of wallpaper, I guess. Peel and stick wallpaper. And stick wallpaper. We're not sure where it's going yet, but it's either going to go behind the TV or the accent wall in the slide. <laughs> this is my Sunday project now. <laughs> As I said, I'm spoiled. So Amy's going to document it while I do it all. I kind of have a, an idea of what, I, of what I've got to do, but follow along because if you want to do this as well, it should be fairly easy. So this space here, right above the stove oven area, is what we're putting the subway tiles on. Step one, clean. Make sure that the area that you're going to be placing these on is clean of dirt and dust. We have this Clorox spray stuff that we found, and it works really, really well. You spray it on, and it's got like this long push release handle. And it, yeah, it really does a number. It, you get that bleachy smell a little bit, but that, that means clean. So make sure you wipe it down and allow it to dry before you start putting the adhesive on. You do not want to do it on a wet wall. Step two is to trim and cut the tile. Now, what we found out is halfway through this project that the microphone battery died. So we are voiceovering this entire thing. Basically, what I just said there was don't cut towards your body. Make sure you're cutting away from yourself when you're opening these tiles. So getting them out of the package seemed to be a lot more difficult than it should have been. But once they're out, you have a nice, solid white tile with a what looks like a, a black to dark gray grout lines. What I'm going to be doing is taking off the two pieces that stick out so I have a flat surface to stick up against the wall. I don't have a ruler, so I found this little piece of what I call angle iron, even though it really isn't. It's just a little piece of angled material. And I draw with a pencil on the tile itself so you can keep your cut lines straight. I also used it when I took my utility knife to cut a straight line. As you can see, they're not very dark, and the pencil does wipe off pretty easily. So if you do cut away from the line, you're not gonna have a hard time getting that back off again. So make sure it's all lined up straight, take your utility knife, and then make a little score line down before you really start digging deep. Because if you start going off at an angle, you're not gonna be able to keep a straight cut going forward. It's very difficult to work with, and you should probably use a different method of getting those to cut because the utility knife did not seem like the proper tool for the job. It worked, but I probably would have chosen something else. Make sure you're good and straight and then get a good, nice cut through. Again, don't go super deep to start. Just get a good line so you can start digging and digging and digging. Even with a brand new blade, I still had trouble getting through these. So just make sure you're taking your time. You don't want to have the blade jump and get out of that track you've just made. But also, you want to keep making each cut and pass deeper than the last. And eventually, you'll get it to snap. There it goes. Just like so, flip it over and then cut from the back, just that little piece of plastic that covers up the adhesive. And you've got yourself, oh, here it goes. 
you've got yourself a little square, put it off to the side, and then keep going on to the next bit until you've got what you're cutting completely done. Again, make sure you're taking your time and this isn't anything you want to rush. And now with that second piece off, I have a nice straight line which will go up against the door where you walk into the camper and the rest will fit into those little grooves the rest of the way. Step three is placing the tile onto the wall. As you can see, I decided to cut a little notch out for around the knife rack in the back. In the future, I probably wouldn't have done that and I would suggest not doing that just because it's really hard to get like a quarter of an inch off the tile like that. However, it's done and it looks great. But what we're gonna do is read the directions to make sure I'm doing this correctly. Yes, sir. Remove the red banking and push it up against the wall. Lightly at first, but it does grab pretty good. So make sure you have it almost where you want it because once it sticks, it's gonna stick. The red backing does not come off very easily. So grab something you can use to take it off because fingernails don't do it justice. I probably struggled more than I should have peeling off the cover of the adhesive. However, they're on there really, really good. I wound up taking a smaller utility knife and using that blade to kind of dig underneath. That seemed to work better than most, but still it's really on there. And you'll see what I mean by the adhesive is very strong. Once you have it all off, you're ready to put it up against the wall. Again, make sure you're going to be getting it as close as possible because like I say, it does stick good. I had a little bit of difficulty once you just kind of tap it, tap, tappy. It's on there. <laughs> Pretty much right now, if I tried to move it, you're going to be peeling <laughs> the wall away from the camper. So there it is. It's on. Push it in nice and solid. Give it a good couple heaves. Camper kind of bounced back and forth, <laughs> but... It is solid, and there's piece number one. Now, what we need to do is measure the rest. This one's going to be going next, and I you have to cut essentially a quarter of an inch off the very bottom, and then we have a final piece going off to the left, which is going to finish off our backsplash. It's three tiles wide and almost two tall. We have eight and a half inches out of the 12 that it is to make the top row. As you can see on this piece I'm putting in right now, I had goofed and the utility blade jumped as I was cutting that little quarter of an inch tabby. So that piece I just put in there singularly was from another piece of tile that I took in off elsewhere. And I removed the one I goofed and put that one on and it, it's hard to see where I even goofed anymore. But Again, make sure you're careful because it does jump on you. This is me. I like to put them up before I take the backing off just so I can see that I have it all lined up before I actually stick them. When you're sure that everything fits together as it should, that's when I kind of take it all off again. Remove the red backer from the sticky. Again, <laughs> it was a struggle the whole time. I keep trying to use my fingers, but I wound up with the utility knife in the end. And then once you get it off, you get it back on, and then you know that it was meant to fit before you accidentally stick it to the wall, and it's not exactly how you want it. Because like I say, once you have it up there, it is not coming off. So take off the red sticky, nice and gentle. Throw it off to the side there. There we go. Line it up. Yep. And there we are. Press it into place. And give it a good couple shoves and there we have it that piece is on i've got my one little singular at the bottom and then the one at the top and the project is finished and get this last piece pressed in and there you have it there's your backsplash it was finicky at times but it turns out really great and if you've got the patience it's a quick and easy job this is probably going to make the blooper reel but I kind of cut a little bit crooked on the side, so I'm using a Sharpie marker to make the grout lines 
a little thicker on this side. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and happy camping, everybody.